Libya. Now, I'm an old infantry veteran, and um, this war in Libya, you guys, is not about fucking oil. It's not about helping the fucking people. It's about fucking water. Man-made river. Everybody should fucking know about this. I'm sorry for saying the word, the F word so much, you guys, but I just hate these wars so much. I'm very passionate about this. We are killing people, murdering people, rather, and, and the United States taxpayers paying for it. And it's just insane. A man-made river in Libya. you got to check this out. River Libya has built one of the biggest aquifers in the world. They're supplying. This is a desert country. This country, if we wouldn't attack, this, this is all online right now. This is basically mostly done. This is a map of the aquifers. What happened is the um, Libyans were looking for um, oil in the Sahara, and they found this huge uh, deposit of water underneath the ground. Libya's a great man, and what Gaddafi did for the last 20-something years, he's been uh, building this huge system of pipes and um, reservoirs throughout the country. Now, he put in pipes, giant pipes, and he put this stuff underground. I've still pictures of it. There's a digger with a trench. And um, here's uh, one of the aquifers that Libya built. These things are massive. You know, there's no water over there. Now, uh, Gaddafi's plan was to um, green the desert, and he was doing a good job. Now, Libya is totally independent for energy. They built this thing with no money from the IMF or the World Banks at all, so they're totally autonomous with their projects. Um, Brown and Root were the ones that, I guess, that built the thing. There's a big company over here, engineer, engineering company. And um, here's the pipes that the water flowed through, through the desert. Um, this thing had, had costed like $83 billion, but they did it totally without the IMF, the World Banks. Uh, Gaddafi paid for it himself, and the banks didn't want that. Number one, they don't want to feed the people in northern Africa. This little country with this water could probably feed the entire continent of Africa and the Middle East. They're going to have, they, they, they have big plans of, um, of exporting much food, much food to um, Europe. Get this. They're going to green the desert. And this is what this war is about. This war is not about, it's not about oil. It's not about freaking helping anybody. This, this war is about water. Water is much more important in the desert than oil. And, and um, Gaddafi had one, he said, fuck you to the World Banks. He said, fuck you to your loans. We don't need it. We're going to do it ourselves. And this country probably would, it, it would be the greatest country in the world. Now what's going to happen is, they're going to divide Libya again. You know, it's, it's more the um, colonialism. They know there's two main tribes here. They're going to try to divide and conquer the tribes um, in Libya, and divide the country, keep them a, a, warring, a warring faction going where this, where this water project can get no further as far as growing food. Because what they're going to do, they're, they're bombing the whole freaking desert right now. And they're going to pollute the desert with radioactive material again, just like we did Iraq. And um, the people are going to be divided and conquered. And this water project is never going to get this uh, massive um, green of the desert. It's not going to happen if there's this conflict going on. And um, like I said, this thing's basically done right now. The final stages were uh, just ma making farmland and, and growing crops and putting people to work. You know, this would have been a, an oasis, a giant oasis in the middle of this desert. Now this water is projected. There's so much water and it's pure. It's, it's the, like some of the best water on earth for another, for it would supply Libya for 200 years. You guys, the IMF doesn't want to hear this. The world bankers, the guys that control the world don't want to hear this. That's why we're there, guys. Obama is nothing but a spokesman for the world bank, the IMF. And um, you better look at Israel, man, because right now the UN voted for a um, no-fly zone. And right now, uh, Israel is flying over Gaza and dropping bombs because we've had some incidents over there. And I guess today we've had another bus bombing in Jerusalem. Now, we don't have uh, bombings or suicide bombers in Jerusalem. Now, what happens if the, um, the, the UN says, well, hey, no fly zone over Israel? You, and the United States can say, no, we protest. But look, the Russians and the Chinese are protesting this no fly zone. And look, nothing happened. I mean, they can't do anything to stop it, just like we can't do anything to stop a no-fly zone over Israel. I think everybody, check out this water project. Anybody that sees this, share it with your friends and family. If Anybody you know that's interested in these wars and these fake wars and how we're getting fucked over by our own government, 
And uh, this water thing, it's about water. It's about fucking water. It's duck out.